Hi, I'm Isabel, and I've been interning with the Chameleon team as part of the University of Chicago Center for Data and Computing Summer Lab. Um, my mentors are Kate Kihi and Zuo Zen, and this summer we've been looking at how to reproduce and replicate experiments on Chameleon. Now, Chameleon is like the animal, it's highly adaptable, um, but Chameleon the Platform is a, an NSF-funded uh, experimental platform that has diverse hardware and networking configuration capabilities. Um, in the past, people have used Chameleon for these types of experiments. So now that you are hopefully slightly oriented, let's dive into why we would look at this and what came out of the summer. For scientific research, replicability and reproducibility is crucial to validate and extend findings. This has traditionally been difficult with computer science research because of the availability and diversity of resources, both hardware, software, and data. Researchers need to be able to run code in a stable, customizable, and powerful environment, to provide documentation or explanation about the experiment and code, and to share experimental code data and results. Chameleon solves these problems by providing access to different types of hardware storage and networking configurations. It integrates with Jupyter Notebook to combine code, text, and visualizations, and it enables uploads to Zenodo, an open access repository for storing code and data, which also provides a DOI for easier sharing. So now the technical capabilities exist, but how do you get people to use them? How can researchers package their experiments in a way that encourages replication and reproduction? These are the questions we set out to find answers to this summer. While searching for answers, we also wanted to create a library of fully packaged, repeatable experiments. I replicated a variety of machine learning experiments to include in this library. To start out, I replicated TensorFlow's MNIST tutorial, which predicts handwritten numbers, and is a great way to familiarize yourself with the platform. The second experiment was a reproduction of the AlexNet model, run on the Stanford Dogs dataset. After training the model, I ran it on my family's puppy, a Frenchton, to see how it performed with a dog not in the training classes and who is a mixed breed. It got the ears right, um, but he is definitely not a Chihuahua. The third experiment was a replication of a deep network called Network and Network, also run on the MNIST dataset. Now we'll head over to the platform so I can show you one of the replicated experiments. So this is the Alex Dent notebook. It follows a structure of experiment explanation, container setup, and then running the experiment. One conclusion that's come out of this summer is to house the container setup and experiment in separate scripts. Uh, I've pre-run the cells for you so you can quickly get an idea of what's going on, and then if you want to dive deeper, you can do that by opening each script. Uh, this also allows you to introduce um, modifications or variation to one part of the equation without affecting the other. So if you wanted to change the experiment container in some way, like the lease length, uh, the node type, or install different libraries, you would be able to do that without affecting the experiment. And similarly, if you wanted to add variation to the experiment or change the data set, you can do that without affecting the experiment container. The analysis is all compiled in a separate tab um, so that you have easy access to all of your images, visualizations, and graphs, allowing you to just slip them into your paper. Two of the most common difficulties for replicating experiments are data accessibility and hardware availability. By separating the container and experiment scripts, you enable experiment longevity. If libraries have been updated, you want to change the GPU, or it's no longer available, you simply adjust the experiment container. If you want to introduce variation or change the data set in your experiment, you simply update the experiment script. This summer has culminated in multiple experiments for the experiment library, a template for structuring future experiments on Chameleon with Jupiter, and we're ending with the news that Chameleon has been funded for another four years. There's no better time to go play with it than now, and there's a lot to look forward to, including more resources for reproducibility and support for Internet of Things experiments. Thank you for listening, and thank you to the CDAC and Chameleon teams for the summer.